Okay, here's the explanation. We have this expression, the square root of 20 plus the square root of 20 plus the square root of 20 plus the square root of 20. Now, when you have this kind of problem, we can think of this as problem under self-similarity. We can see the self-similarity if we square both sides. So squaring both sides, we have x squared equals, if you square the right side, you will cancel out this square root and the exponent two. So this 20 is now outside the radical symbol. And we copy all the rest. If we look at this yellow part and the original expression, they are similar. This yellow part at the bottom is similar to itself, which is at the top. And since the top is equal to x, that means this string of radicals at the bottom is also x. So we copy the x squared, we copy 20, and we replace these yellow radicals by x. And this part, we know how to solve. This is just a quadratic equation that we can write first in standard form. That means the right side is zero. And the left side is factorable. So we factor that as the quantity x minus five times the quantity t x plus four equals zero. And there are two possible roots here x equals 5 or x equals negative 4. But going back to the original given expression, 20 is positive and you are getting the principal square root in the operation is addition, there is no way for this number to become negative. So we will only consider x equals positive 5 as the answer. This x equals negative 4 is an extra. This is an extraneous root. So okay. the only answer is x equals 5.